What's up everyone? So I showed some of these rocks in the last video and I've been wanting to polish them because they're just cut. This one I did with a uh, belt sander, but I was actually watching YouTube and I saw this really awesome channel, Rookie Rock Hounding. And he did this method where you take um, tumbling grit. This is rough uh, 6090 silica carbide and you put on a piece of glass, spray some water on it, and you can kind of use it as like a flat lap type thing. So I'm gonna try that out. We had this little glass shelf in our bathroom that we took down and I didn't know what to do with it. It's a nice piece of glass, so this is perfect. Hopefully, this is visible. Take a little bit of the on down. That might be too much. And put a little a little bit of water on there. I don't know why that's not working. All right, I'm gonna start with this big one. And I guess it's just real simple. You just put this on here. And see what you hear. I guess that's it. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm not gonna film the whole thing. I'm gonna sit here and try this with the rough grit, see if it works, and then move on to the next couple stages. Okay, so after about five minutes, let's see if we can get that to focus a little better. It's definitely working. You know, it's definitely scratching it up. This is wearing down a little bit. Um, it's gonna take a long time. This is a bigger rock too. This is uh, black jasper, bassanite. But it's definitely, focus in there. It's definitely working. It's definitely doing something. So I'm committed now. So I'm gonna just keep at it. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, this is what we're dealing with. It's definitely getting flatter. Gotta see if I can work on that spot right there. But it's crazy that this actually works. It takes a long time, but like I said before, now I'm committed to this and we're gonna, we're gonna smooth this thing out. I'm make this nice and flat. A couple little spots there, and I gotta see if I can work on that part. But this is very smooth. <laughs> the mess. But, uh, alright, let's keep doing it. Okay. So after about 45 minutes of polishing it on the glass, I got it really... <laughs> Nice and flat and smooth. It works. It definitely worked like a flat lap, but very time consuming, very loud, very messy. That's why I put it in the green bucket at the end there. All right, so I decided to try the glass method for all uh, four steps, the medium, the fine, and the polish. And right at the end there, this little chip broke off and I wasn't gonna go back and redo the whole thing. It definitely polished it. Um, it's nice and shiny, it's very, very smooth. Uh, looks like I probably could have spent a little bit more time on step one. It's definitely shiny. It's not like... It's good. You know, it's polished. The method works. It's doable. You kind of have to have a rock that's already flat. Uh, moral of the story, though, is I probably need to get some type of polishing machine. I gotta get a 
tile saw first so I can make some cuts, but it's on the bucket list. Does this method work? Yeah, it works. Is it the best? You could probably perfect it. Like I said, I needed to probably spend a little more time on step one, but it's very time consuming and it takes a lot of energy. I'm gonna have like Popeye forearms after this. And right at the end there, that chipped out. And that would be a very simple thing to fix on a machine. Doing it with this method uh, would just take way too long. It's cool though, I'm, I'm happy with it. It looks better than it did, but not a very efficient method, but you could do it, you know? So that's it. I guess you can polish a rock with a piece of glass and some tumbling grit.